What's up, dudes? What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel, R3 TV. Today, I got a new update for you guys for the core. Um, so, it obviously didn't work out me making an IFO. Figured it wouldn't. Um, just use that as a little motiva a little bit of motivation time to get me going to work on the car. And honestly, I haven't touched the car in about a week. So, I've just been buying parts, buying things, things that I need for the car um, just to make it look pretty. So, got a few unboxing i actually bought some stuff that i i really i um, i opened it but i haven't even taken it out to look at it so you guys are gonna see this with me so all right so this is everything i got well this is some of it some of it is in the garage still so some of the new stuff i got but basically i'm doing the rotor of a hub conversion on my accord um if you have an accord you basically know that it's a pain in the butt to change the rotors if they go bad because the hub is over the rotor. Um, so I'm doing the rotor of a hub conversion along with the big brake uh, conversion. Um, I'm going with 11.1 uh, inch uh, calipers. So I have to remember exactly which ones I got because it's been a kind of a minute, a week or so since I looked at it, what I bought. But I think I got <clears throat> the hubs are from a Accuracy L. Um, the hub and bearing assembly, um, prelude, uh, brake calipers. And you know what, instead of telling you about it, let me just show you. So let's start with this box. I don't even know what this is. Probably it's really heavy. So probably the rotors. Yes, they are the rotors. Oh, and it's heavy. So for the rotors, I went with Brembo, just Brembo blanks. Um, I was doing research. I was gonna get, you know, the slotted and drilled and all this stuff, but that's really not necessary. Best setup that I've researched so far were the uh, Brembo, just Brembo blanks. Um, and this is 11.1 inch, which is much bigger than the stock Accord. Um, calipers and it's um, rotor over hub you see where it got the two screws where you screw it in so those are the rotors if you want to know the part number there's a manufacturer part number right there so yeah all right next we have let's go here next we have I don't know what this is Oh, these are the new brackets. Because I'm, you get, um, I'm going with the big brake conversion. Um, you also need uh, new bra brackets. 23T is the size that you need for the Prelude upgrade. Um, there's a whole bunch. If you look it up, there's a whole bunch of combinations, a whole bunch of different uh, set. Of, you have you can get a 28T, 25, but for what I have here, 28T's will work and I just looked up and found these for 40 bucks off of uh, Facebook site I think Florida Accords uh, Facebook site so perfect on that and next here we have I have no idea what this is I only cut the box open I haven't ripped it open yet let's see what this is These must be the, yes, these are the hubs. Let me take it. Here is the hub and assembly, the whole thing. I got it. I just bought it pre-pressed because I don't have a press yet, which I am going to get because that's good to have. Um, but yeah, these are from Acura CL. Um, has the same spindle as the cord axle, so that'll just slip fit right in there. And yeah, that's pretty simple with that. And I got one more box. Let's see what that is, because I forgot. Hey, another big heavy box. Oh, I need two hands. Hold up. Let's see. Oh, these are the prelude calipers, which are way bigger than 
the Accord one. Let me take it out of the wrapper. So here are the calipers from a Prelude, a 93 to 96 VTEC Prelude. Uh, it's a single piston, um, but these are powder coated red. Um, I have a powder coating machine, um, but I have not set it up yet because I still need to get my curing uh, setup done. So I went ahead and just bought these powder coated and they just came red. So whatever, I can always change them later if I want. But these are the calipers. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I pretty much got my whole setup ready to go for the brakes. Cause you can't be making all this power and not be able to stop the car. So the only thing I'm missing is actual pads. Um, so I still got to get them. Um, I'll probably order them. Probably my next paycheck or whenever. Because uh, it's car life. You're always broke. And with the situation with my car it being missing, I'm still owing some money from getting that out of the impound yard. So that's holding me up a lot, a lot. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. This is the rotor over hub conversion basically all the parts here complete and now i'll show you what else i got i'm working on the interior of the car again um i got my uh carpet up here on the trailer um i think you've seen in the last video i showed how it was dirty uh not dirty but well i guess you can call that dirty still yeah dirt is dirty um before I put it back in the car, I want to make sure all the dirt get much as dirt get as much dirt out as I can. Da -da -da -da. Um, so I just got my jacks, man. Uh, not my jacks. I cannot talk today. What is wrong with me? I got my jack handle pump thingy. Yeah, and I am beating out the carpet. Pause. If you can see. This is how much dirt is still in the carpet after after um, power washing it. So power washing does not get all the sand out of it. I will call it sand. It got all the nasty gook and everything that was in the carpet. But the carpet is definitely still holding a lot of sand. So if you do this, unless I did something wrong, um, you're probably going to have to beat your carpet to get it right or get it clean like you want it um so yeah i'm gonna get as much dirt out as i can and see what areas i need to respray uh, a couple of you commented um on cb7 tuner that they've done this before but as i said it was nice it lasted for a little bit but it started to fade um and if it does fade i mean whatever it'll go back to it'll fade to blue it's not like it was burgundy and i painted it black so, I mean, black and blue kind of, if it fades, it'll kind of blend back into blue. So, it'll be whatever for now. But you can see the driver's side is really bad. So, yeah, let me get this cleaned out and I'll show you what else I got today at the junkyard. So, the carpet is back in the car. This side is kind of still pulled up because I got to do some more work on the ECU. Um, for the, sorry for the bad lighting, the flash is making it look a little off. But I'd say that's a pretty good job um, from what it looked like before. So the carpet is in. Uh, of course, I got to put down the side plastic pieces and and all that stuff but carpet is back in the car um let me show you what else i finally got i was able to find a really mint uh hood from the junkyard today um it's almost the same color as the car this is more gray and this is well, before this started fading and stuff, this was a grayish color, but it's actually kind of the color I want to paint the car, like a gunmetal gray, but I was able to finally get a hood for the car. 
And I also got over here, I picked up a new front bumper. Mainly I just needed um, this part in here so that I can um, mount the uh, intercooler too. But I just went ahead and got the whole bumper because it was easier. So I finally got my bumper, my hood. The next thing for me to do is mount the new intercooler up um, and the radiator. Now that I got the front end support and the bumper stuff, I can put the, uh, the radiator and the intercooler on along with the rest of the turbo piping. Um, put the seats back in. Um, I found the piece that I cut. I cut this at the junkyard and I went back to the junkyard and found the front end of it, like the part that has all the clips. Here, I'll show you. This part right here. So I got lucky and I found where nobody took or they didn't get lost. The part that I cut here. I don't have to do any guessing or anything, just directly solder that back to each color. And I have my full headlight harness done and tucked on this side. So rotor over a hub conversion. So I bought um, CL um, hub assembly with bearings. Uh, I, brought, I bought the uh, Prelude, Prelude uh, VTEC calipers. Um, along with the 23T bracket, uh, so I can do the rotor over hub conversion uh, with some Brembo uh, rotors. Um, when I do that, I'll throw, go ahead and throw the Coney suspension on there. I don't have the ground control springs yet. I have not bought them because they're like 300 and, I don't know, 300 and something dollars. Um, so I may do work twice, throw the, throw the uh, shocks on there, throw the springs I have back on there, uh, if I do make it, but I don't know. Um, probably not even worried about that right now. Um, so I've been spending lots of money just getting time and energy and motivation to actually finish all this stuff. So hopefully it'll be done soon. Um, yeah, so we're making slow progress. Um, you guys let me know what you want to see in the videos. Uh, I kind of look back at my videos, kind of like boring and monotone sometimes but i mean it's just me and my messy garage so uh yeah once once the car is done uh the videos get a little more exciting i would say um and i do want to get to work on ooh, finishing this project got an engine for this um i have not forget about this guy this is probably going to be a summer thing because it's Florida, it's not that cold, but I don't like riding in the cold at all. Um, but I have not forgot about that guy. Um, the Integra is just moved in the back now because I don't feel like dealing with that because I want to get this guy done. Um, I wasn't going to paint the seats. Uh, probably not going to do that because I feel like they're going to wear out very fast. So I'm just going to get some aftermarket. Not aftermarket, probably like, uh, I don't know, RSX, uh, SDK or RSX seats or something um, later on. But I just want to get this guy up and running. So here we are now. And yeah. So like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, subscribe.